I'm here for another video. I'm bass fishing today. I, I had intentions of frog fishing, which this pond that I'm at right here, as you can tell, has no moss on it, which every other year for the past four years, and probably longer, it's had it's been completely covered in moss. So I thought I was gonna get on a frog bite, which I just was casting and I had one pop on the uh, frog, so I'm gonna keep casting it for a little bit, but we might have to change up our plans a little bit. I did not come prepared at all for this. I brought a frog rod. Um, I brought one tackle box. Uh, I see them blowing up everywhere on the top though, which is good. But yeah, so we'll see what happens. Hopefully we can catch one on a frog because I haven't yet this summer and he doesn't love top water. So I'll see you guys with a fish, hopefully. See if we can get some back in this creek. This looks juicy. All right, switch to a good old wacky rig. All right, here we go. Green pumpkin, wacky rigged Senko. See what this does. I might change to black and blue. Water's kind of murky, but other than that, I think we're set, so. I think I just skipped it. I think we got one. Yep. Little dink, but we got one already. Oh my gosh. What in the world? That man just pooped this out or something. What the heck? Hook came right out. I don't know what just happened, but that man had that little sink, that other piece of Sanko in his mouth. So I was wrong about that uh, part of. This place not being fished, but first first bass out of this pond this year. Uh, he's a little guy, but he still does. So summer bass fishing. I I haven't been going much yet. I haven't went much yet, at least. Especially I haven't made any videos. There you go. I literally was just trying to skip this thing. I'm starting to get the hang of it with the bait caster. I figured out the trick. I think, I think tonight's gonna be a good night. The wacky rig is literally the deadliest rig there is in ponds. I've not been to a single pond. Well, maybe, but it's pretty rare to go to a pond and not be able to catch them on the wacky rig. Let's get to there again. Here we go. Oh shoot, I must have been snagged or something. Got a little too excited. No! I just had one. It came off right at the top. I don't even think I had the GoPro on in time for that one, but.
Yeah. He was tiny. Who cares? Hmm. Found this stuff in my bag. It definitely smells. Let's we'll see if it works. Maybe get a bigger bite. I can't even tell the difference with this. This stuff is so old. There's actually a sunken tree up here, which, as you know, with bass fishing structure is amazing. So, once I get there, I really think I'll catch one. Dude, it really sucks I don't have my bluegill crank on me. It's on my other rod. Stinks for days, dude. Look at how big this thing is. Chill out, chill out, chill out. What in the world is on his little... He's got like a leech or something on him. But, uh... This bass is tiny. Holy crap. <laughs> nice. There's a little bit of structure right there. I knew I'd probably hook into one. Oh. Dude, I didn't even have time to turn the GoPro on. He choked this. Oh my gosh. Oh wait, he didn't, but the bait was in his mouth. I thought this was a lot bigger, but look at that little chunk. Right in the same spot. There's a little bit of structure right there. Cast right in. Got him, so. It was probably like a pound, pound and a half at tops, but still, pretty nice fish, if you ask me. What? What? I just had another one. I set the hook. Dude, the braid broke. What the heck just happened? The knot's still there. Oh my god. Now it's gonna haunt me. That could have been a big fish. Dude, why is the knot still on this? I literally just caught fish after fish. Oh my god. Well, let me retie. I think I'm gonna try this pink worm. I got all these colors. I'll switch back to like an, a more natural color if this doesn't work, but I kind of want to test it out, so. Well, I ran out of wacky rig hooks. I'm going to need to go to the store soon. I'm out of a ton of stuff, but um, I'm just going to weightless. Uh, uh, weightless Texas rig this thing now. We'll see what happens with the pink. Well, I kind of took, tied the wrong hook on too, but here it is. Um, I got this other, it's like a purple color, but both of them should do good. And they're both super lathered up in that shad flavor stuff. So we'll see if that stuff works or if this color works. Which it should. It's basically the same presentation.
What the heck? Oh my gosh. He came back. What the heck? I hope you all just saw that as a little guy, but he hit it literally as it was hitting the water. Dude, someone's been swiping at it. He had it again, dude. He's just pulling on the tail. Got him. Oh, he came off. Well, this is probably what's been eating my bait the entire time. Whoa, zombie fish. What the heck? You guys see this? He's been, I guess that's where I caught him like a hundred times. He's got a big chunk out of him. Mr. Snapping Turtle's been eating. Well guys, to catch big fish, I guess you gotta get to the juicy spot. And sometimes that means going through this crap. Just pull up my socks real quick. When you have to do this stuff, it sucks being allergic to poison ivy. Heck, I can fish this whole bank. Once we go fish that tree line over there that overhangs the water, we gotta get one. Oh, like I said, knew it. Another dink. What's going on with these things? Let's go down there. Jeez, these weeds are high. Holy crap. I believe we got one. What the heck? Come on. Alright, well I just put on literally the Fort Senka that I've been through. There's something moving up here. I don't know what it is. Well, instead of turning the GoPro on, I turned it off. And by the time I got this dink in, it was basically right now. So, um, yeah, it's got another dink that's way back in that cove, but... See you, bud. Oh, he was bloody. Oh, it's a better one. Never mind. Another dink. But, y'all get the memo. Dinks for days here. Did y'all see that? <laughs> no, he spit my hook. But, this is one of the biggest of the night. This is a little chunker. I was just reeling my thing in because I was going to go cast back in that cove. And he must have been stalking it back in the... Uh... You guys are trying like a, a purple and greenish or a dark blue and green. Green speckles. We'll see how it goes. I'm sure it'll work just fine. Here we go. Man, they're stacked up over there. This one's a better size. Oh, holy dude. I was holding him and my hook almost went straight through my hand. 
Oh my. He went straight in the mud. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh my gosh. All right, we're changing spots. We're gonna go on that other shallow end and just fish the banks and go in that one spot that was the juice earlier before it gets dark. And well, I guess catching dinks is fun. I mean, heck, I could be sitting here catching no fish and be happy for this fish. Dude, this is probably the biggest one of the night. Not gonna lie. Eh, I don't know. They're all around, like, holy crap, I hooked him so close to the, I hooked him on the outside. This is the monster for the day. Probably can't even see him, but. All right, well, time to call it a day. I don't even know how many bass we caught. We caught a ton, but we came unprepared and still caught some, and that's all that matters, so. Kinda wish we would've caught one on the frog, which I did have a big hit blow up on it, but it was off camera. And it kinda sucks that this pond doesn't have any moss on it anymore. Cause I don't know where I'm gonna use a frog. But anyways.